Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. How you doing? Chad, CK Knife and Tool. If you don't know who I am and you're new to the channel, I appreciate you stopping over because it's probably that catchy title and thumbnail, that awesome thumbnail I put up. <laughs> no, you just probably stumbled across me on accident, so I do appreciate that still. Well, I got myself a beer. I'm heading into the shop, not to really work, but to share a little something with you because today is another episode of The Stuff. So let's get inside and I'll show you what I got. Alrighty here. So what's really neat is I'm going to set you guys up here on the workbench and hopefully get you guys sorted out so you can see this. Uh, I got to empty my pockets because it's what I got to show you here. If you've been part of the channel for a while, you know I like to do leather and I got a little thing for leather. Um, a lot of people do. I like leather sheaths just as much as a nice guy. I think they have their. I think they have a purpose, and uh, definitely, I love the smell of leather. If you remember uh, one of the last episodes on the stuff I did, I got my wife that handbag for her anniversary, and it came from Tanner at Claridge Leather. Well, today's episode of the stuff is a wallet that I got from Pop Off Leather, and they're up in Canada, and they contacted me. Um, the full disclosure, of course, they contacted me. Uh, they apparently got familiar with my channel a little bit and offered to send me a uh, wallet of my choosing, or at least a product of my choosing, something I was interested in to do a video on. And I hadn't heard of them before. Um, I, well, I should say, I think they came up on Instagram in, in, in the past a couple times in feeds or something, but you get kind of busy, you know, and you see things on the periphery. And when they reached out to me, I looked into it and uh, I thought it was really interesting. I, I love the product they have and I like to hear the backstory. And it goes again with that small business mentality. Now, granted, they're not here in the United States, but that, that's not an issue. It's a guy that actually took his passion and created a business and is quite successful, I think, and makes some phenomenal items. They have wallets, different types of wallets, and they also have um, uh, shaving kits and some other things. So check it out. I'll leave descriptions down below, including what this is that I have. So what I'm sharing with you today is Pop Off Leather. It's the five card wallet, and it is really, really slick. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop you down here and show you a little bit about this. Okay, first and foremost, this is not the leather sheet wallet. This was my old leather wallet. Uh, nothing fancy, you know, it's one of them store-bought ones. It had the little nylon inside, bunch of pockets here and here. And, uh, you know, it was nice. I've had this wallet for probably five years now. Uh, worked really good. I'm not a big wallet person uh, in regards to how they shape and how they fit and feel. And they have a tendency of getting a lot thicker than you originally wanted them to because we always add stuff to it. Which is why I wanted to get out of a wallet like this and get into something what some people call more of a minimalist wallet. So with that being said, this was the wallet I picked out uh, from, uh, um, uh, from Popoff. Uh, they call it the five pocket because there's two pockets on this side, two pockets on this side, and then there's a pocket here. Um, so that's really nice. Now, I, again, try to keep things as minimalist as possible. Uh, so I only have um, a couple of ATM cards and credit cards in here. As you see, I got a little cash right here. I've got my Costco card, um, you know, some grocery card, as well as insurance documents back here. Then on this side, I have my driver's license, I have my carry conceal, and I have more cash. What I thought was really nice about this is my, my state carry conceal license is really, it's big. As you see, it's bigger than the actual driver's license. And this is smaller than it used to be. But what was really nice is it fits in the outside pocket perfectly. I didn't force it, I didn't have to trim it or anything else. It was amazing to get this and find this right out of the box. This thing fit perfectly. That right there, I was sold. I really like that. And I do like the idea of having both of my major forms of identification right here. I can take them, pull them out, hand them over to the officer if I needed to or anybody else. It was good to go. Now I've been storing my cash right behind this simply because it's the cash I usually get to the most. I, I try to pay with cash whenever I can. But what's nice is I was able to put money in there and you know I got some more money here. Um, we'll take this money and put this back here too. And you'll see that you can you can get a you know a decent amount of cash in there. 
you know, you could, I think I might've had up to a uh, hundred dollars and twenties with some singles and fives and mixed in there, you know, 130, 140 bucks or something like that uh, on our trip at any given time. And it fit just fine. I didn't have an issue with it. It doesn't seem to uh, fold uh, kind of oddly. I'm trying to think how to explain it. With the wallet sometimes, depending on what you put in there to get a little shifty or something like that, this one didn't. And as you'll see with the leather right here, you'll notice that there's actually more room to expand. Look at how wide this can get. You know, you could get this pretty wide, but what I like about that is it allows it to be soft and it allows it to be pliable and move in your pocket. Now, when I wear this in my pocket, I usually put it like this. So my zippers here, you know, the outside of my left side hip is over here. I wear it like this. I found that to be the most comfortable. Other people might want to wear it differently, but that's just how I found to wear it. And I like it like that. It's already starting to get a nice little shape to it from being in my pocket. It's really good. Again, I've probably had this for the better part of, you know, uh, 15 weeks, I think 18 weeks. And uh, it's wearing really well. I really like it. And it smells beautifully still. Uh, I know it sounds a little weird, you know, having been in my pocket the whole time, but it really works what well. nice. Now, granted, I do wear a type of jean that's a little bit more stretchy of fabric, uh, so that always helps, but I don't have a tendency of uh, wearing a wallet usually. When I had this thing, I would take this out of my back pocket, I would put it in between my legs when I was driving, and then when I go to get out of truck, I would take it, put it back in my pocket again. There were several times I would put it in the center council and I would forget about it. This, I just leave in my front pocket, I never forgot it. So that was kind of nice. The downfall with it, it is a minimalist. So if you have a tendency of needing or wanting to put extra cards, you're going to easily fill this up and expand it. Um, at first, I took a lot of the cards that I had in this old wallet and I put it in here. And I didn't like it because it got to be just as thick as this. As you'll see, this one's full, this one's empty. Um, they are almost similar in size. Um, maybe I can throw some footage in here showing these wallets, this wallet and this one when I first got them. I can plug in here exactly their sizes and dimensions and how it looked when it was full. But right now, as you can see, height wise, they're the exact same height as uh, my wallet was. You can see that right there. The wallet is the same size as the, the minimalist wallet here. Now where you're gaining is your width right here. You're gaining that, but also what you're gaining is, what, what really gets me is the shape of the cards. When you have wallets like this and your cards go in here, they all have a tendency of, of uh, creating this little, you know, you put your card like this. As you do that, all the cards have this angle, so they'll all be angled up like this. Well, then these cards are the same way and they're angled like this. So when you go to close the wallet, the wallet wants to sit like this. And I don't know about you guys, but I've had cards get damaged that way because of all the pressure across here. I've had those cards crack like that. So I've had wallets like that and that's not really comfortable. And especially when you fill these pockets up, these things get really fat right away. So I'm not a big fan of it and that's why I wanted to go to a minimalist. I was looking at a bunch of different kinds of companies that had them. Um, I, I'm not really sure if I'm keen on the uh, um, plastic ones. They do make some that are, my son actually won one at the Northwest Overland Rally a while back, but some of them are plastic or metal. Now I'm not really keen on that. Maybe I'd have to try one, you know, to see how I would like it. But um, with that being said right now, this is being my first minimalist wallet. I am really liking this. And again, I do like the leather. It's a little bit more warm and traditional so that I kind of gravitate to that a little bit. So with that being said, guys, I gotta say, you know, First impressions um, were, re I really like this wallet. Uh, when I did the unboxing and the unboxing video, I was just amazed at the quality and the care that was taken. Um, having been around three months now using it, um, I have dropped it a few times doing a bunch of other little stuff or carrying it, dropped it on the ground or something like that. It's leather, it's gonna hold up well, you're gonna get character to it, that's expected. Um, but after three months, I'm really liking this. It really, really feels comfortable. Um, I'm actually very pleased that Ryan and Marnie reached out to me and made me this offer to try this out, work with it, and do the video. Um, I'm, I'm ecstatic over it. You know, I, I don't know, um, as you guys know, most everything I get and I do a review on, I've purchased myself. Uh, this is one of few things that somebody's ever given me and uh, sent to me and say, hey, go ahead and you know do a review. We'd love to hear your input. 
Um, I think there's a lot of videos out about pop-off leather holsters or leather uh, uh, wallets and, and the bags and stuff, but um, I'm very pleased with it. I could see me buying another one of these as a gift to somebody, whether it was my son or my father or a buddy of mine. I really think this would be nice. They offer these, uh, they have a bunch of different style wallets. I think there's three or four different wallet styles as well as some of the bags and stuff. So check those out. And they also offer these in a couple of different types of leather and a couple of different colors. So you can do that. I don't know what about uh, stitching. I don't remember seeing anything regarding uh, custom stitches. Um, you know, Tanner does that chain stitch like I do on my, on my knife sheaths. He does a chain stitch to his little minimalist type wallet. But the one wallet that I know he makes would be a little bit too small for me because it was like a three pocket kind of thing. And knowing what I know now with something like this, uh, this is about as minimalist as I could get. So that's why I'm really happy that Ryan and Murray reached out to me and gave me this offer. And uh, I'm, I'm pleased with it. So I definitely recommend this. Even though I didn't buy it, I recommend it, guys. I'm wearing it. I'm going to have this more often. You'll see it more in my... I'm going to start doing some EDC pictures every once in a blue moon. I get asked that a little bit about stuff. And I also have uh, um, uh, a holster that's going to be coming up for uh, a review here shortly, too. So I'm going to share that with you guys. But... Um, again, check out Pop Off Leather, all the descriptions down below, what this is, as well as their website and everything. Facebook, Instagram, whatever they got is going to be down below there. Thank you very much to Pop Off Leather. Ryan, Le uh, Marnie, I do appreciate the time. To everybody else, thank you very much for all the subscriptions. And um, I think at this time, um, I don't, not yet. I got a big thing coming out about subscribers and followers and stuff. That'll be in another video, so keep an eye out for that one. But until the next one, thank you again. Remember, like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. Keep me from the bottom of the YouTube bucket. We'll catch you in the next video. Bye.